Hey everyone, in this video we will briefly cover what's a fact table. So let's start. So a fact table essentially captures what has happened or um, something which has happened in the past and we want to capture it. So for example, sales has happened and we want to capture sales amount or we want to do some form of reporting on that. What cost was incurred and we want to capture the cost of development. Maybe we want to capture, um, maybe in a school we want to capture the marks scored by students in a class in a particular subject. Uh, maybe we want to capture the people living in a particular state or a country. So there are people who are there and we just want to capture how the people are in a country living. So how many people in a city, how many people in a state, how many people in a country. So um, typically a fact table will capture what has happened and we want to report on that. And these would normally be numeric values. So for example, sales amount uh, in dollars is a fact. So what's happened, how, many, how much amount was sold sales quantity how many how, so it's again a fact what has happened quantity of product sold customer id and data it's essentially when you slice and dice and dice a certain value so you want to see uh, uh, how many which customer or maybe you want to identify the top 10 customers or the top uh, days on uh, in a month when you sell so in that case you're slicing and dicing and then you get into a different territory called dimension and we will cover it up as a separate topic but for now uh, think of fact table as something that has happened and want to capture that event now uh, typically a fact table would be the largest table in a model for example you're looking at a sales table and if you're looking at an e-commerce company it could be billions of rows so that's a lot of data maybe you want to capture um, in a school how huh, the marks scored by students so this could be like for every subject and if a student has five, maybe five subjects and there are 50 students, you're looking at 250 uh, rows, but then you're also looking at um, different grades or different sections for a student. So it could really go, uh, grow from there. You could probably want to capture kilometers traveled for a car maybe. So how, what's the average? And if you're capturing data from multiple uh, cars, that table could grow significantly the sales quantity which we have already discussed however all numbers are not facts for example you know age could be an attribute of a customer and doesn't have to repeat so yes a customer is maybe 20 years old but um, that is an attribute of the customer and um, it has happened but it, it, it is captured separately as an attribute of the customer yearly income of a customer where you don't want to do too many analytics on that maybe or the number of cars owned by a customer so essentially fact tables capture numerical values that are summed or averaged and uh, you want to uh, do some form of analytics on that so i hope you uh, uh, find this concept interesting and uh, it helps clarify the understanding on the fact table for you uh, i will be taking up dimensions uh, and helper tables and i'll be bringing the facts and dimension tables together as a, sap a separate video uh, please let me know if you would like me to take any specific topic and thanks for watching this video uh, cheers bye